Let's dive into our trends discussion for week number 11, starting off with an offense I think we both like quite a bit. That's the Dallas Cowboys, and they're an interesting offense because they've been in flux for a lot of the year. We had Randall Cobb miss a game, Michael Gallup missed a couple as well, and it's led to some funky target distributions specifically for their running backs. You're going to talk about this Dallas offense and how we should handle them here on the road against Detroit. Yeah, uh, I mean, overall, Dallas is a pretty fun DFS offense. They're in a matchup that could feature points, especially if Stafford were to play. If mm-hmm. not, I mean, still kind of in on that game regardless. Dak Prescott has been really good. Uh, he's $8,100, so he's a little bit pricey, but I, you know, spoiler alert, I like him a lot. Uh, he has been really good against non elite defenses. That's what uh, Detroit is. He's had 282 yards, 2.2 touchdowns against pass defenses outside the top 12 based on number of virus metrics. That's good for .40 passing that expected points per drop back, which is four times the NFL's full season average. Uh, the NFL average against non-top 12 opponents is .17, so he's you know more than double that. So he's really been taking advantage of good matchups. Uh, but since Michael Gallup's return in week five, uh, the target shares are 23% for Amari Cooper, 22% for Gallup, 16% per, for Jason Witten, 14 for Randall Cobb, and 11 for Ezekiel Elliott. Cooper barely played in Week 6, though, and if you remove that game, his share jumps up to 26%, uh, with 36% of the air yards as well. So his role is really good, uh, even with Michael Gallup back. Uh, But over that full sample, uh, even if you don't remove Week 6, Amari Cooper's 16 deep targets put him 6th among all receivers in that split. Gallup's at just 6. Cobb actually has 9, but uh, you know everything looks good for Amari Cooper. Michael Gallup, and even Randall Cobb. Uh, as a team, Detroit is sixth in target success rate allowed to receivers on the full season. But since week five, they're 27th. Uh, they're 29th against tight ends. So it's a good spot for those three receivers and Jason Witten. Uh, you know, Cooper's a stud. Gallup's averaging 100 air yards per game. And this, uh, you know, since returning, uh, Witten's 12th in air yards uh, per game among, among tight ends in here uh, in, in this sample uh, with almost six targets per game. So everything's looking good, but... Then you get to Ezekiel Elliott, and things are a little bit weird. Uh, you know, that limited receiving has really done a number for his ceiling and floor. Uh, he has three targets over the past two games. He's still averaged five per game uh, since Gallup's return, but, you know, the past two uh, it's, hasn't really been there. It might not matter a ton because Detroit's only 25th in rushing success rate allowed to running backs, but I'm a little bit nervous about Ezekiel Elliott. I know you are, too. Yeah. Uh, but Dallas is one of the first offenses that I'm looking to when building lineups this week. So how are you viewing the Cowboys for week 11? I think that the reasons that we're skeptical of Zeke are exactly what you said with the decrease in targets, where he had none uh, against the Giants. He had three against the Vikings. And those are really tough numbers to swallow when you're $8,400. And like, like last year, we used Zeke like every week, the second half of the year, because he was getting like... I think like 18 to 20% of the team's targets each week, which was an awesome number. So I think that when I'm looking at this from a cash game perspective, he's between a lot of guys I'd rather have. Like, I think that you look at Dalvin Cook at 86, you look at Josh Jacobs at 8,000, jumping down to Leonard Fournette at 72, Tevin Coleman, uh, Devin Singletary. There are a lot of backs I feel safer about. So for cash games, I don't think Zeke really fits what I'm looking for. For tournaments, he does, because... I think that there is still a path to passing game involvement here. And there's also a path like for a running back who is not involved in the passing game to pay off for fantasy at this price tag, you need a buck 25 and two touchdowns. He can get that in this matchup. So for tournament, Zeke is still a very good play. I'd rank him beneath cook still, but I think he's a very good play. So not a cash game guy for me, but he's still a good guy for tournaments. Just not, you know, at the top of my list. Is that how you would describe it for yourself as well? Yeah, so if I'm building a cash game lineup or say, you know, one to maybe five tournament lineups, I don't really know if I'd have Elliot in there, even though I... If I did maybe, five, I would. At five, sure. But yeah, I just yeah. meant like a very concentrated, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, number of tournament lineups. Um, I don't know if Elliot would be there. I, I love the upside if the receiving's there. And again, I mean, look, I, we know that FanDuel is a half PPR site, but... You get, on average, a running back gets twice the fantasy points on a target than he does on a carry. So targets matter. Uh, it's just like free yardage, touchdown right. equity. So sure, 
you know, we, he, he can, like you said, pay off his tag without the receiving, but you kind of want the receiving. Right. I know that, you know, guys who don't get receiving are more palatable on a half PPR site than a full PPR site, but that does not mean they are desirable. And I think that's a big distinction to make. And it's, it's something we talk about a lot. Like we do the, you know, I at least do the adjusted opportunities, which is carries plus two X targets. That's why. And if you look at that, Zeke's not top 10 over the past three weeks, I don't think. So actually I can pull it up here. Uh, over the past three weeks, he is 13th. He's behind David Montgomery. <laughs> He's behind Josh Jacobs, who doesn't get a lot of work in the passing game either. Uh, so, yeah, I think I think he's a good tournament play, not a great tournament play, and he's not a cash game play for me. Either. 